<laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangs. And I am very confused. And from now on, we're going to be playing this entire Let's Play from this angle. This is difficult, honestly. I'm actually See, this struggling. This is why Final Fantasy Tactics is a better <laughs> strategy game. I'm struggling to, like, maneuver. <laughs> How do you. How do people play like this? Is this, is this impossible? I mean, don't get me wrong, I like that they're allowing this. This is really cool. But, I don't know. This is... Yeah, no. I, I actually really... I, I, whenever I tune in and or I see someone play and they, like, turn the map on the other side just to be fancy, it always annoys me, because it just makes, like, I always go, like, what kind of map is this? You know? And then I realize it's the, the same map. It's just different. I don't know why people feel like doing that. Uh, I find it useful when you need to see what's up ahead, since the view is so zoomed in. Yeah, yeah, especially on some indoor maps where there's like a walls in the way, yeah? Mm. Ah, so, we're defending Garrick Mach. We're gonna have to uh, kill the Randolph. Uh, right. But first, uh, we should take care of the reinforcements, I think. That we should. We can let the green unit handle the Pegasus map, he'll be fine. I must admit, I don't really know why killing this guy stops the enforcement. I think Gilbert said it in the Another last episode, but I forgot. He never actually made it entirely clear. Just like, hey, reinforcements will come, pan over to the ballista. Yeah, I guess. I mean, he maybe, maybe he said it. Oh, wow. 74% hit. Let's go! Oh, my God. He's got him indeed. Whee! He's still here. <laughs> Hey, now I can use... No, wait. Wait, you gotta be an archer to use a ballista, right? Uh, you don't need to be an archer, but you do need to have bow rank of some sort. I forget what the threshold is. Hmm. Really? Because I, I don't... Yeah, maybe, maybe you do, actually. I never tried. Uh, where is my physic? Oh, shit. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I can read this weak. Oh, no. She wow. can't reach. Fuck. Felix is... Ah, never mind. He's in full health. I don't know he's why I thought... I, he's never gonna get hit. <laughs> I didn't... I don't know why I thought that. Uh, I can use the... the Dimitris Gambit is hilarious. Can't let you go I, don't, I don't remember what it looks like. No escape. It looks like the general charge beam. But it... It's ridiculous. He gets two uses of it. And it's... Um, let's see. It has like a very strange area of effect. It's like centered on... Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. That seems kind of dumb. A little bit. <laughs> uh, also, um, we're apparently getting new gambits in the in the DLC, so that's cool. Oh, I can't wait for more football players to charge the enemy. I do hope they give us something other than just like the same shit. I don't think they've changed the gambit animation since it was revealed, like with the initial three houses. Before. Yeah, but I mean, like other kinds of gambits, not just like Destiny other area of effect so attacks, you know. Uh, yeah, support gambits would be nice. Yeah. Like, uh, you know what I think they'll do? Hmm. I think they'll add rally gambits. So AOE that would rallies. Be mm. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I mean, honestly, I kind of like how rallies are single target, if I'm going to be completely honest. Because I think AOE gambits are way too strong. Ready when completely. You are. But, uh, on another note, I actually don't mind. Like, I, I, it would be funny to see them. Because they'd be limited, right? Being gambits. Of course. Fine. I also like how you can smite, despite the fact that you can't travel the full distance. That's a really nice, uh... That's actually really nice. I think it was like that in Radiant Dawn, Path of Radiance, too. Pretty sure it wasn't. If you if you tried to smite, you would just not get the option. Oh. I might, oh. Be, I might be wrong, but I seem to recall this being the case. Well, I'm not super firm on it, so maybe you are. Mm hmm? I seem to recall that. If you can't smite, you just don't get the option. Agabunshin no jutsu! I guess technically it'd be Lightning Blade? Maybe. Oh, Chidori, I mean, yeah. It's been a while since I watched Naruto. I just. I don't know if you saw the episode, but. but uh, did, have you watched Naruto at all? I grew up with the English run. Oh, okay. Have you seen Boruto? I watched, like, two episodes and. Yeah. I was decided not a, that I had grown out of it. I was not oh, a big yes. fan, and I told Gas that Boruto kind of feels like Naruto 2.0, but watered down, and he got so mad. It was like four hearts down with Gas and the support. Like it was like he was like, "Take that back, take that back." It was I kind, kind did of not see that coming. 
Uh, no, I, I didn't ever took him for a Naritard, honestly. Oh, he can use it. Nice. No, he just, I, I guess it makes sense you can't use it while you're flying. Hmm. I can deal with that. Alright, let's just do this. Best, I'm gonna make fun of these animations until the day I die. Honestly, they wouldn't even be so bad if they were, weren't so goddamn floaty. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, cool. I'm out of thunder. Time to use Chidori! You saw it. God, he, he's even just using his fingers, too. <laughs> I can only use this four times a day. <laughs> R, oh, R, wow, he can use it, too. Interesting. Oh, maybe the Onager doesn't require a bow rank. Maybe it's the Ballista that does. Because ah. the Onager's just a rock thrower. I am Ferdinand Von Air. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you're right. All right. Um, let's see. If, let's just move her into... That's probably not a good idea. No, no, I, I realize that. I also think Ferdinand's going to do a lot of damage on the next turn. I'm a little bit worried. Um, Ferdy's going to get swarmed by Pegasus Knights. Yeah. Wait, is he way down by the... He's not equipping the Onager, right? No, but he is equipping the Short Axe. Yeah, that's not great. Um... Well, here's hoping. Yeah. If only you we can had always some sort of striding them. Oh, yeah, I could. Um... Wow, thanks. And then oh, maybe oh, a... The problem isn't... Oh. Well, that didn't help. Magnificent. <laughs> I guess I can try... <laughs> okay, let's see how good they are against him. He is going oh, to die dead. so fucking hard. I'm not even gonna watch this. I'm not even watching this. Like, this is not even funny. Um, yeah, I think we'll I just... Like in a game with that Divine Pulse, you would have actually taken the time to <laughs> look and see if he would have been murdered. Shut up, Cyan. If you don't like Divine Pulse, just Ready don't use it. it. Listen, man, I sleep under a copy of Theracia 776. My elitism is big. Why big, do man. your elitism have to ruin my game, Cyan? Hmm? What if I like Divine Pulse? Are well. you gonna take my Divine Pulse away? I'm gonna take your Divine Pulse. I'm gonna make him illegal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We don't try to be douchebags, guys, but it's just... I don't know, like, I, I'm i happy that it's here, don't get me wrong, but he does objectively make you worse at fire. When you go back to playing another game, okay, this is gonna sound like I'm making excuses, but I think my Binding Blade run on Iron Man would've gone better if it weren't for Divine Pulse. You don't check enemy stats as point? much as you should. I don't, and uh, I mean like, oh god, I'm gonna get so many angry comments because of this. Mangs blames Divine Pulse for being bad at fire emblem. That's enough, I'm unsubscribing. Orders. But it's, it, it does make you worse. I, I'm not saying that it's not my fault, but yeah. You that, don't uh, have to think. Trial and error is now a viable strategy. Oh yeah, or, no, I, I, th or, I, I think like, that's pretty, pretty good actually, just to, you know, go in. And just, you know, just see what works. Throw it against the wall, see what sticks. And then you just use Divine Pulse. If it doesn't work out, and you just slightly change up your strategy, and you try again. It's yeah. like, this is a strategy it, game. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, alright, we're fine. She is very dodgy. Yeah, no, you... I mean, there's just so many calculations. You could sit and do them all in your head, but it'll take forever. It'll be much quicker to just, you know, see what works. That does not make any sense, Felix. Chidori! Whoa! One to remember. I can't get around you for those classes. Oh, hi! Oh. Hey, Mercedes. Oh no, my green unit. It's okay, oh. green unit's a swordmaster. He'll be fine. Yeah, man, they made swordmasters really good in this game. It's almost like speed super important or something. Yeah, almost. This could turn the tides. So wait, no, I didn't need sword rank. I need lance rank. Yeah, you need a lot of lance rank. Yeah. Oh my god, look at all them guys just lining up. Oh my god, they're basically begging for it at this point. Look at. going to give it to him. So what were you wearing when he accosted you, a gambit? I was wearing uh, BDSM armor. 
James. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, wait. First, we gotta get Annette into. Um, so I wanna rally. year. Actually, I don't. Come to think of it, there's you... no point in rallying him. Not really, no. Oh! But still, end of the year. 69. 69! Like beasts. Oh! <laughs> that was very satisfying. Holy fuck, that was satisfying. Jesus Christ, that was that was some of the best shit I've ever done. I'll cut through. Um Alright, Felix. Do you have your armor? Yeah, you do. Actually, I feel like, you know, against armor knights, armor slayer isn't always the best weapon. I think you would have uh, just. This game is still more. double effectiveness, right? Is it? I mean, maybe it is. I think it's double. I remember when we were doing the character preview or the FE16 news. There was something about certain weapons being very effective against certain types and certain weapons just being effective. Mm -hmm. So that was a way to have both two times and three times effectiveness. Yeah. I I do not know if anything is three times effective. Again, Maybe I am just talking out of my ass here, but I think it's just two times. Uh, it might be. I know that uh, the, the effective combat arts are two times, or at least that's what I heard. Hmm. Oh, wait. Can, we, can I get rid of this guy? Yeah, I can. Please say it. Yeah. Nope. Whoa. What's my strategy? Nice job. You crushed that building. <laughs> Protecting Garrick Mach, everyone. Oh, well, that kind of sucks a little bit, to be honest. I guess I have to leave that guy alive then. Uh, yeah, unless you want to stride someone of Sylvain and then put them onto the other Onager and then throw another rock. You know, that's such a stupid strat. I'm going to try it. Thank you. Of course, I'm bad at the game, so that's, uh... But then again, like, wait. Oh, you'll, you'll be fine. Oh, wait. Apparently, you need some... Maybe you need Axe Rank for it. I don't know. Huh. I have no idea what is required for this. Apparently, girls cannot be onagers or something. I don't know. Like, they can't use it. I shall not stir. Also, I just noticed when you kill a Falconite, like, feathers sprout everywhere. That's kind of cool. I never really noticed that before. <laughs> Yay, murder. <laughs> Yay! So there you go, rally your best friend. Their ace support was adorable. I'm not sure if you've seen it. I was there for it. It was. Oh it was right, super right. You were right. I keep mixing it up with guests. Um, it's okay. The comment section does too. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, go ahead and equip a spear now. Yes, I will do that. Um, hmm. Hmm. No, lance is really heavy. Yeah, it's. 16, it I might guess. be better grabbing an Iron Lance out of the convoy. Oh, right. I am a convoy. For some reason, that's still a feature. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, right. So let's grab a... What do we have? A tra Training Lance gives me a lot of speed. And then I can probably put on, like, a Goddess Ring, maybe, to give myself some more luck. Yeah, I mean, it can't hurt. Oh, wait. Actually, do you have a Knowledge Gem? I, I wasn't looking. Oh, I do. Yeah, equip that. That'll help your weapon ranks. That's a good point. Yes, I think it does. There you go. Yeah, that'd be nice, actually, because that's like double Lance XP. Bam. Yeah, that does help. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, this is fine. That is all. That is all. So the reinforcement... Oh my god, he's getting really good level ups. Jesus Christ. I mean, when you have, like, a, a base 50 strength and speed, it's all you need. It's really good. Alright, Dimitri. So none of those guys should be able to move, so... However, most of them have true range, but he has a javelin, so he should be able to retaliate One, against them. Yeah, a little bit of chip damage will go a long way. Chip? <laughs> That's cute, Sonia. <laughs> <I mean, laughs> Dimitri okay. doesn't... Dimitri doesn't understand the meaning of chip damage. Uh, 75 damage might be a little above a threshold for chipping. He oh, only man. knows carnage and destruct. Oh, okay. You cannot 69 the Swordmaster. There you go. No one fucks with my green units. I mean, granted, it is a Javelin Plus, but I, s I still think Dimitri is ridiculous. He's a little beefy. So, um, when battalions take damage, is that based on the damage the their wear takes? Uh, yes. They, so as I understand it, as the wear takes damage, battalions will essentially be slowly chipped away. 
And yeah, even if you uh, heal the actual main unit, the battalion will not be replenished. So, let's say Dimitri takes like 40 damage over the course of three turns, but he healed in the middle of it. Yeah. The battalion will be listed as taken, 40 damage will be worn down thus far. Yeah, because, um... Because he has so much defense, he's like he still has he's been taking damage all map, but he's still got three triangles. And mm. I think that's because his defense is just so damn high. <laughs> because if they just took damage at like a regular rate, then all the damage he took here would just like I don't know. It wouldn't matter. Then I am using Dimitri a little too much, but I am not really I'm not regretting it at all. Oh, is it a pitfall if it works? 38 strength! Oh my god, he's so good! Hey, the Mortal Savant does have a pretty nice move, though. I will give it that. For an infantry class, yeah. I think you have 7 Especially moves. if you consider it a magic class. Alright. Yeah, because the Gremory has 5, I think? Gremory has pathetic move. It's so, so dumb. Uh, yeah, it's not great. Uh, okay, Ash cannot. I will do, I will do my amazing focus strat, then. And just get... A total loss. Huh? But we can't just return home like this. Huh? Professor, get huh? Down. Oh, uh, remember huh? the thing about the fire? Oh. For my house. Huh? Oh, For never justice. mind. Oh. I will not be huh, I guess that's just a special conversation that happens if literally everyone but him is murdered. Huh. Oh. Oh, okay. Ow. He gets hard. Warriors tend to do that. You know, he has a battalion, but he didn't gambit me for some reason. Uh... Huh. Okay. Oh, thank God they're on ambush, Bond. Yeah. Fire attack is ready. Oh! Oh! Okay, that's what it is. Attention. You know so what? Many units, and you still can't defeat us. The Empire's Interesting. generals are not as formidable as I'd heard. I'm gonna be honest, it's really it might be useful in maddening mode, but you'll see the area that's lit on fire, it's Attack! not Make helpful sure at all. Now. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> fire attack. The damage is too great. What? Can't fight anymore. So the game retreat. assumes that you will be I'll playing like a novice fire emblem player and turtle soldiers? because this is a defend map instead yeah. of charging it. Well I is this a route No, this is a route map. Yep, they're trying to flee. Chase them down. Leave none standing. Yeah. Eliminate them I'm not. I, I guess it would change the enemy's AI and it changes the victory condition. <laughs> wow, we set fire to our own monastery. What a brilliant strategy, taken straight out of Rhea's handbook. Wow, See, what a mastermind I, I have. I would have liked that was conditional. Like, if there were any enemies. <laughs> Literally only were... affects my own units. <laughs> it's, it's dumb. It happened to me in my golden beard <laughs> place. This is a truly a mang strat. Wasted effort. Wasted effort. <laughs> okay, Dimitri, we say thank you around here. I just think it's funny that he, he got one healing and then he says like a wasted effort. He, he wasn't he wasn't lying. Hey, experience is never a wasted venture. You of all people should know. This is true. Ye old ignorance. You haven't earned me. Then if Dimitri, I mean, there's like literally only two guys left. I'm gonna do something funny now. Proc your crest. I disposed it. Sometimes you can get like insane damage on Dimitri. I may not survive. All right, I think yeah, this is fine. Unless he like mounted. Not nah, there. We go. Oh fuck! Um, Why did you? I I I I I didn't. Did you not actually do the calculations? Did I you, may did you just see that you go to zero. Have Mang method. That's okay. This game doesn't have a game over screen outside of mapping. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. I could have done this twelve oh, more times. This can't end here. There you go. Got him. Capture him. Oh a boy. Terrible battle. Yet Garrick Mock still stands. Yeah. Your Highness. Gilbert, you might have set your daughter on fire. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, Dimitri. Dimitri, Dimitri just gets very motivated. He's just on fire. I guess he could. <laughs> he's the only one that is not on fire. That's actually true. That's why he's motivated. My thank you. 
Why do they always say thank you? It's so I weird. have family waiting for me. Because we have Please. the voice line. I can't die here. A beast of your depravity prattling on about family? How amusing. As though you could understand such a thing as love? You heartless monster! You are a monster too, General. You have just yet to realize it. A monster who thinks he's a man. Despicable. As a general, you must have killed countless souls without a shred of mercy. Do you still remember the sound of them begging, just as you're begging now? Or now that your life is at its end, will you hold to the lie that your hands are not stained red with blood? This... this is war. I did what I had to for the Empire, for the people, for my family. <laughs> So, you are piling up corpses for the people and your family. And I am doing the same for the salvation of the dead. After all is said and done, we are both murderers. Both stained. Both monsters. You're wrong. Am I? I can smell the rotting flesh upon your hands even now, General. Enough! That's enough! I won't kill you right away, my fellow monster. Unless you object to watching your friends die. Okay, one, Dimitri. Now it might be the time one. to to stop. If so, I will do you the service of removing your eyes first, so that I mean, war is hell. Dimitri, you've been a very please. Huh? Wait, Did... please. Oh, I think I killed him. Forgive I think you just me. put him out of his misery. Oh, he's not gonna like that. What is the meaning of this? I don't know why, but... Okay, just picture this scenario in, in your head, Sion, okay? So, Manga walks up, she stabs Randolph, and one of the first words that come out of his mouth is, I missed the Dimitri I once knew. <laughs> this game is good in spite of Biolab, not because of it. I don't know why, something out of my just you seems so funny. Is dead. All that remains is the repulsive blood-stained monster you see before you. If you do not approve of what I have become, then kill me. If you insist that you cannot, then I will continue to use you and your friends until the flesh falls from your bones. Not, not a big fan of Edgy Dimitri so far, I'm gonna be completely honest. I mean, I'm, I'm, I... We managed to repel the Imperial Army. But we remain divided on our next course of action. I sort of find this arc kind of interesting, but his personality as an edge lord is very, very edgy. I'm gonna reserve judgment until I see where this story thread goes. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. So I'm Dimitri just... is a bit extra in the context of a Fire Emblem game, where war is kind of just treated as a backdrop to strategy. But mm -hmm. I mean, consider it from the perspective of another strategy game. I mean. This is war. You're murdering people left and right. Yeah. Dimitri's not wrong in his assertion. I mean, Randolph has sent many people to their deaths. That's true. And doing it because, oh, I, I'm a general. It's war. It's, it just happens, bro. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I was a little extra by trying to go all Oedipus attack. on him, I will admit. But forces. We'll have our hands I, I don't defend. think that him being so heartless is out of place of a scenario. It's out oh, of place of a character. Yes. I was no, I was more just talking about the things he say. Like I'm dead inside. Uh, I'm a corpse. I'm just I like his his mannerisms as an edge lord is kind of stereotypical, but you know. It's a miracle it's, we it's managed a minor to help the Imperial Army with a few units and resources. I have faith. I have faith this game will resolve it thusly. I mean, people like Dimitri. I don't think they would like right him if mm. he just turned into worse Calic. But Rig is in a difficult position. As he has suffered invasions by the dukedom. Oh, there are Reed. troops who yeah. share in our cause, gathering in the heart of Fraldaria's territory. If we can arrange for them to join us, our forces will grow considerably. Fraldarius. So, Rodrigue is still alive, is he? He probably could have just asked Felix. We met five years ago. So you did. I wonder what my old man will say when he sees you now. That spectacle alone will be worth it. Truck into Dimitri or me? Hmm. Uh, Dimitri, because Dimitri's <laughs> kind of lost his shit. I've already sent word with our fastest messenger, informing Rodrigue that his highness is alive. 
But we would do well to send another in case anything happens to the first. With the current state of things, we'll be completely helpless without his support. God, right. Mercedes looks so out of place. May I ask what your next plan of attack <laughs> should probably is? change her back. Should we dispatch our troops to the Kingdom Capital or to the Imperial Capital? Wait, do I get a choice? Oh, is this a choice? We will take the Imperial ah, no. Capital. No. Nope. There. Nope, we're bomb rushing. Kill her. We end the war and chase away the lingering regrets of the dead. Nothing could be more to the point. Uh, that may be true, but don't forget that your people need our help right now. Your Highness, I hate them too. But the citizens of Ferdiad have long awaited your return. Just give it up already. Wasting time thinking about stuff like that will only dull your blade. Defeating Edelgard would put an end to the war. That would benefit the kingdom as well. We still need to look for Lady Rhea. So I agree that we should get to Enbar as fast as possible. It sure seems like a rod split. Professor, whatever you oh. decide. Oh. 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 Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Shit. I have, I I have didn't no idea what is better to choose. Damn. You know what? Oh, boy. Ha. Oh. Well, perhaps we might choose next time. that That's what I was thinking. We're 26 minutes in. It wouldn't be terrible to let this be a cliffhanger, honestly. Mm -hmm. Maybe even do a little bit of a poll? Well, comment section, do your thing. Yeah. Will we take back Ferdiad? Or will we go and kill Edelgard very, very dead? Find out. Yours. In the next episode of Fire Emblem Tree Houses. Bam, 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 bam. Bye.